An introduction to the shaping machine. A shaping machine is used to machine surfaces. Although it may seem a very simple machine, it can achieve great accuracy through a range of machining techniques. It was one of the first real machines, capable of accurately cutting and shaping metals, such as steel. It can cut curves, angles and many other forms, including gears such as a rack and pinion. It is a popular machine in a workshop, because its movement is very simple although it can produce a variety of work. Shaping machines come in a range of sizes, from bench top to floor standing. This animation shows the most important parts of the shaping machine. The tool feed handle adjusts the height of the cutting tool and the depth of the amount of metal to be removed. This is normally set at no more than 1 mm. The tool post securely holds the cutting tool. The tool is normally manufactured from high-speed steel. The vise securely holds the metal to be shaped. Sometimes the work is clamped down, rather than using a vise. The height of the table can be adjusted, as this depends on the size of the metal being machined. The adjustable sliding support can even be set at a range of angles, which is very useful when shaping a piece of metal. The cross traverse handle can be used to manually feed the metal across the motion of the cutting tool. The feed can also be set to automatic. Finally, the clutch handle is used to start the shaping of the metal, by engaging the motor with the mechanism that drives the movement of the shaping machine. The tool post and cutting tool can be set up in a variety of ways. Three examples are now being demonstrated. On the left, the cutting tool has been set up to shape the side of a piece of metal. In the middle the tool post is not angled, so that the tool can be used to level a surface. The animation on the right shows the top slide is slowly fed into the metal, so that a rack can be machined for a rack and pinion gear system. So, how does the mechanism of the shaping machine work? The simplified animation shows the reciprocating motion of the mechanism inside the shaping machine. As the disc rotates, the top of the machine moves forwards and backwards, moving the cutting tool. This movement, combined with the cutting tool, removes the waste material from the metal, which is carefully bolted down or secured in the vise. Like all machines, guards must be used to protect the machine operator. Shapers usually have a number of guards, that can be securely attached to the table and adjusted, to suit the work being carried out. Shaping machines are sometimes underestimated due to what appears to be their simple mode of operation. However, they are precise and able to carry out complex work, but with all machines, that is down to the skill and experience of the machine operator. For more information and exercises on the shaping machine, go to the Equipment and Processes section of technologystudent.com, or use the direct link shown on the screen.